I'm not necessarily going to talk about what happened in the last game, but I am going to discuss the elephant in the room as well as some of the reactions that I heard from Eagles fans. Now, let me just put it like this. Yes, there was some horrendous officiating in that uh, Commanders game. And I was expecting to get a face mask penalty on that one play against Dallas Goddard. The NFL has admitted that they missed that call. And they find the guy who um, who pulled Goddard's face, face mask. And it's one of the reasons why we don't have Goddard right now. We are starting uh, Stoll, Jackson, and Calcaterra. I think that's how you say his name. And it's one of the reasons possibly why the Eagles didn't do as well in this game. Our offense was really hampered by one of our best targets, our best weapons. But let me put it to you like this. And a lot of Eagles fans on social media were blaming the refs for why the Eagles lost to the Commanders. Let me tell you this right now. The Commanders won that game fair and square. I hate to break it to you. They won that game fair and square because they actually noticed a weakness in the Philadelphia Eagles team. And the weakness in the Philadelphia Eagles team is we can't we couldn't stop the run. We couldn't do it. And that yeah, that's embarrassing. It was absolutely embarrassing that we couldn't stop the run in that game. It was absolutely embarrassing to watch Taylor Heineke jumping around on the sidelines, celebrating on our home field, on money, on prime time. That was embarrassing. Okay? I'm not going to say that Taylor Heineke is a bad guy. Uh, that last roughing the passer play, yeah, that was weak. But I also say it like this. That was gamesmanship. That was gamesmanship. Because sometimes these guys just got to sell a penalty, right? Sometimes that's what they do. And that's what Heineke did. He sold the penalty. And they won. They won. You have to be more disciplined than that. Brandon Graham is the eldest statesman. Well, not the eldest statesman, but he's been on the team the longest. You got to be better than that. You're a captain, right? You have to have the knowledge of he fell down. He gave himself up. I need to pull up any way necessary, or that's going to be called again, right? And a lot of people are mad at the refs, and... I say this, did the refs make Dallas Goddard fumble? No. If Dallas Goddard wants to be known as one of the better, the marquee tight ends in this league, he he needs to be like the other tight ends, like Kittle and, uh, and Kelsey and some of the other ones, not coming to my mind right now, who are able to hold on to the football. And you didn't. This happens maybe once, twice, three times a season where he just Fs the bed. You got to hold on to the ball, right? I always say it like this. You, you can't depend on the refs. You can't depend on the officials to get you good calls. You can't. Quez Watkins fumbled the ball. You can't do that, bro. You can't do that. You need to secure the football. Ball security needs to be a number one priority for the Philadelphia Eagles. If not number one, it has to be number two. Because if you put the ball on the ground, you're probably not going to get it back. Hate to break it to you. We almost lost this game because one of our better or, or so-called better uh, receivers dropped the ball on the ground on a first down. You know how much that kills your team? You know how much that just sucks the life right out of your team? It sucks the life out of your team pretty pretty big. I hate to break it to people. Ball security, ball security, ball security, discipline. Needs to be on the minds of these players. That if you drop the ball, if you let the ball hit the turf, you're going to lose it and you are costing your team. I can't even. I can't even. Ball security. It was the refs the reason why Quez Watkins dropped the ball? No. No. D does it usually feel good to blame the referees after your team loses? Sometimes, for some people. You know, 
there have been times where I, I have, probably, I'd say like three times, three times maybe, two, three times in the whole time I've been a, a football fan. Yeah. You always see in the comment sections of these social, oh, you know, the refs were on the side of this team. How, you know, how much money did the refs have on? Bro, <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you, we've known that the referees have been horrible for years. We really have. Now, does the, does the NFL need to look into, you know, uh, oh, we're going to review, a quick review to see if there's a face mask on, on plays like that because it was a turnover? Yeah, I would say so. I, I would say that that's something that, that, that the NFL sh- could look at, should look at to make things more fair. You can't depend on these referees. They they barely even see anything. And when they see something, it's usually wrong. Let's be honest here. Not usually, but sometimes. But let me put it to you like this. On the last drive for the Colts, the la- or the second to the last time the Colts touched the ball, when they were cu- trying to drive in to score a touchdown, I don't know who it was, but they sacked Matt Ryan. I, w- I wasn't really in view of the TV because, you know, I did happen to get this game. Whoever sacked him held the face mask. So I, I don't know if he pulled him down by the face mask or the hand ended up on the face mask at the end, but that could have been called. We, we could have lost that game because of that. So all I'm going to say here is here we people say we lost because of the refs, but they're we won potentially because of the refs not seeing the penalty. So I would just be cognizant about that and be cognizant. More often than not, the refereeing is just bad. It's not like they're, they're trying to screw your team over, um, which it is bad. The, the rule book in the NFL is too in-depth and there's way too much for – a normal person to be able to see with their eyes. That's why they get it wrong so many times. Sometimes they get it right, but a lot of times they get it wrong. And that's not acceptable, but <laughs> what else are you going to do? Um, I, wanna, I wanted to know if that referee was fine because the player who pulled the guy down by the face, got her by the face mask, he, he was fine. Um, but I don't know if the referee was fine. I know that they get bad marks on their report card if they don't do well. But other than that, I don't know. The commanders won. They should be proud of themselves. Do it, Did I like to see what happened? No. But no one's going to go back and be like, well, we're going to change that. Go back onto the field, right? A week later. 